hi guys before the video starts today i wanted to give a little shout out to the rotaract club of young professionals so basically what this club is is a group of young professionals that basically gather together and just like do better for the humanity so basically this group meets every friday at 6 30 p.m at jack's salad China Street in Mikocheni. The main reason I'm giving them a shout out is because this Saturday, I mean the 22nd, they're actually having a blood drive. Their main aim is to donate this blood to women who lose a lot of blood during uh, childbirth. I'm gonna put up these posters over here for more information. So if you're in Dar es Salaam, please, please, please go and donate some blood, go and meet these young professionals. And yeah, you never know, make connections and just have a great time and do good for the community. So please also do stay at the end of this vlog today. I'm going to have a special video message from the Rotary Club of Young Professionals. Uh, it's going to be at the end of the video just in case you want to get more details about uh, this blood drive that's happening on Saturday. So let's get on with the rest of the video. Hi guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So what you're looking at right now is just me taking care of my plants. I had taken my plants down, like all my hanging plants down during the hurricane but since i had them down i thought it would be best time to take care of them so i had noticed that all of them are like overrooted the roots are overgrown and there wouldn't be much growing after that because they're just root bound at that point so at this point i am just like taking out all the oiled soil using water pressure and just like making sure the plant is completely clean and then basically what i'll do is go back and report it with the new soil and you know uh, plant food just so we can like it's almost like we're starting over So it's been uh, a few weeks when I was like clearing out the plants and just reporting everything. Uh, what I didn't show that day is like I actually started propagating some more of this so I can fill up the top. I'll show you what the plants are looking like right now. Very different from what they used to look like before. But yeah, as you can see, it's propagating. And I think these ones are pretty much ready to go in the in the soil, like report to be potted. These ones are kind of still working on it, but these ones are definitely ready. So this is how we're looking. I know it's no longer the lush jungle, but you know what? We're gonna get there again. It was necessary, it needed to be done. So why I'm propagating the ones on the counter is cause you see, very sparse over here. I need to like add more volume up top. I think this one should be fine. That one should be fine. That should be fine. It's mostly this one and maybe this one. I don't know, but yeah. I'm also propagating um, Zen and she's doing quite well in there. So... Good morning guys. It's actually 5.15 a.m. right now and your girl is going to work out. I have a body pump class with at EOS with Selma and Brit and Leah and some other girls that I work out with at CG. So yeah, I woke up super early for that. The reason why we're doing this super early is because today later in the day we actually are going to um top golf just cg people just to hang out it's community week so we're just gonna hang out at top golf so we just wanted to get the workout of the day out of the way and then today after i come back from eos from this class i'm supposed to be going back to the derm for the second time around because my skin is acting up again like i don't even know i'm supposed to be going to the derm after of course i'm gonna try and bring guys with me um yeah but like i said honestly truly i know i keep saying the skin care video is coming but it really is coming it's just that i hit another bump literally when my skin was just clearing and i was ready to sit down and do this video i hit another bump my skin is, skin is acting up so i guess this is just all part of the journey and yeah i'm just gonna explain it all in that separate skincare video so let's go to eos and work out I'm gonna get that check like I never did. Before. Yeah, I'ma spend that check like I never did before. Ride off in that vet like I never did before. Yeah, I'ma leave it wet like I never did before. I do everything like it's the first time. Told you what it was, I know. 
know you heard now I do everything like it's the first time If you're not on my time then you get curved now Pocket full of faces in it blue, alright Start the car and I drop out the roof, I'm sliding Everything you said it wasn't true, you lied Call my phone and you wanted to scoop, you tried Stop talking about the deals when you don't have a deal Lying through your teeth so much you're thinking that it's real I cut off the loose and so now everything is sealed I dump off a bag and let my baby count the bills Okay, so I just got to the dermatologist um, I'm a little early, like 15 minutes early So I'm just giving it a little wait in the car Maybe until like 5 minutes so I can just walk up there But yeah, let's see what she says about this skin Good afternoon guys, happy Sunday. So right now your girl is headed to Office Depot. Yes, I said Office Depot, not Home Depot. Um, to basically print out the pictures that I had the frames up like in a vlog like months back. Girl, I've been starting shit and not finishing stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how many weeks later this is when I'm going to print pictures to actually put up on those uh, that frame, on those frames. So I already edited these pictures on uh, Canva and i think they look pretty dope i kind of went i had an option to either do like a black and white completely or oh shit i don't remember sitting up on i had an option to do like a black and white completely or a completely full black color or like just muted colors and i went for the option for muted colors because i feel like the black and white will be a little too bland i think um the colorful like all the full blast colors will be too bright and the color the pictures are too colorful it will just be like a too much i feel like too much because my house is pretty much brown white black green like natural neutral tones uh so i just didn't want like a blast of color on my wall like from nowhere that would just like stand out a little bit too much maybe if i put it that way so i waited for muted colors i think i'll just pop up the pictures that i'm talking right now just so you can see what i'm talking about yeah, so I'm excited. It's a little little makeover finally because everyone always comes to the house and asks like Why do you just have empty frames hanging over here? I'm like girl, it's just me and my lazy ass So yeah, finally I'm doing that today. So let's go to Home Depot and print these pictures Some pictures that would fit this frame. Okay. Um, and so I'm kind of paper you would like this to use. Mm -hmm. We don't have a specific paper for it. Okay. What type of papers do you have? Grab my sample. I mean, if you want like a more of a gloss one, we have these ones. Mm -hmm. um, we have like our standard eight point gloss. Mm -hmm. This is only in, so this would probably be best for like if you want that smaller size. Okay. If you want bigger, we have to do posters. Okay, um, let's see the poster one. Oh, what is this? This is our satin. Oh, so, so it's the middle of uh, gloss? So it's kind of like in between, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But the mat looks good too. Um. Okay, guys, so I just came from... What is it called? The office Depot and I couldn't print what I wanted. Like, I wanted the mat paper in like different two different sizes for the frame, for the pictures. And they can only do it in matte in just specific type of sizes like not all sizes can be printed in matte apparently that's the short story so but she did suggest that i go to staples they do have the same type of materials and can, they can do custom matte sizes and stuff like that so it's just like three minutes down the road so i'm going to staples to do that and hopefully they can get it done so let's go to staples in her voice carry the winds drown out the in this size and then also in this size yeah 
you're gonna email them over to this email at the top. Mm -hmm. And once you send them there, you're gonna get an email back with a code. Mm -hmm. With that code, that's how many will pull it up to place the order and it's gonna be ready to pick up later on today at the latest by 5 30 p.m. Oh, so it can't, like, it's not like a right now thing? Right now, just because of the amount of orders that are currently in the system, everything is for later on today or tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. Alright, guys, so I have to. The pictures are finally too big to send via um, via email for some reason, and they just can receive it via email or USB. So I have to buy a USB, drop and transfer them to the USB, and then give the USB to her, I guess, and she can get them. So that's what's happening right now. See the storage flaws. It all. All right, guys. So it's a little later in the day, and I'm just leaving uh, Staples right now. Um, I actually had to come back because they actually say it's they had too many orders basically and uh it was taking gonna take longer so i just come back later for the pickup i just came back i just picked it up i got the goods they look so good i can't wait to see how they look when they're actually up on the wall in the frames so right now i'm just rushing home to do that so let's go No, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on high and eat us I'm on high Oh hey there Did you know in every 100 maternal deaths 26 of these women die from severe bleeding That you can be part of the solution The Rotary Club of Young Professionals Is welcoming you To participate in the Sunny Bird Drive 2022. The Bravo remains with the to reduce the deficit of 4% of the national blood bank and help a mother and child during the first for their survival. Not sure if you can donate? It's simple. You need to be from 18 years to 65 years old and you have to weigh from 50 kilograms and above. To donate blood, make sure you don't have any blood transmittable diseases like HIV, syphilis, HPV, or HPC. And the interval since you last donated blood also counts. If you're a woman, it should be four months. And if you're a man, it should be three months since you last donated blood. Now that you know, sign up for Rotaract Club of Young Professional Blood Drive by sending a text Shangia Dabo through the number 0655-26-7951 and we'll keep you notified. Are you excited? Because I am. Let's meet on 22nd of October from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Sleepway where we're going to have fun and take lots of pictures while donating. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's meet on the big day.